Hey everyone, I'm Haley and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have Ophelia here and she is all tacked up. So today we're actually doing a, another episode of Ophelia's First. And in today's episode, it is going to be the first time that I actually sit on Ophelia. So over the last month, pretty much, I have been doing a whole bunch of groundwork with her, doing a lot of lunging, free lunging, and a whole bunch of stuff working on her behavior. I actually have my protective riding vest and of course my helmet because I have a feeling she's gonna be really good, but with an off the track thoroughbred, you never know. So today the goal is to get on calmly, hopefully. We're going to walk and trot around a little bit and I'm going to probably, depending how she is, start on the very basics of neck reining. And similar to my lunging video, my mom is gonna be helping me out again today because my mom has so much more experience than me when it comes to working with horses and building up a really solid foundation. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Are you ready, Ophelia? So I hope this video doesn't turn out to be too boring for you guys because it's going to be a lot of voiceover. Also, please forgive my dad for this next little bit of footage. Today was actually the first time that he's ever helped me film a YouTube video. He was playing around with the zoom in and zoom out feature on my camera, so he accidentally just made it a little bit grainy for the clip of me getting on. You don't have to hold it so high either. I do if I want to see it. Okay. So, like I said, this is the first time that I have ever gotten on Ophelia. I've done a ton of work with her around the mounting block before today that I was totally confident that she wasn't going to move at all. I just went very slow just to make sure. Once I was on, I waited a couple seconds just so that she doesn't eventually start getting the habit where she walks off from the mounting block. And after I waited a couple seconds, I encouraged her to walk on. Also, even though you can't see it, I am wearing my protective riding vest. It's just underneath my puffy warm vest because it is very cold in the arena tonight. So I know I said in the intro that my mom was going to help me, but unfortunately she actually ended up getting double booked and she was in the middle of teaching a lesson when I had to get on Ophelia. So I had my dad help me out. O was totally awesome, even though it was super windy outside because we're about to get a huge snowstorm. A little windy out there. After a couple minutes of getting her walking around the arena and stretching out nice and far and relaxing, I asked her to go into a trot. For the first couple steps, she really did not want to go straight. But with a bit of leg and a little bit of direction with my reins, I was able to get her to start going straight once we got to the end of the wall. Unlike most of the thoroughbreds that I've helped my parents train over the years, Ophelia is incredibly lazy for her first ride. I kept her about 5 or 10 feet away from the wall at all times pretty much because I didn't want her to use the wall as a crutch as she went around the arena. I wanted her to be able to balance and turn and everything all on her own without relying on the wall. I was doing lots of circles, working on getting her to turn with her head on the inside of the circle as opposed to tilting her head away, that way she wouldn't unbalance herself as we went around these circles. And one thing about me when I train is, for some reason, I talk a lot. Are you gonna take that out of you saying easy every time? No. Okay, easy. like, are you trying to make people think she's gonna explode and take off? Between all of the comments of him talking about the camera as well as making fun of me for how much I speak, my dad was pretty much consistently coaching me through all of what I'm doing. The whole time I was riding, I was trying to keep really loose contact with her because in polo, we actually use a very, very, very light amount of contact when we're riding. Most of the polo ponies are trained to respond really well to very gentle contact. 
So most of the time when I was doing my circles around the arena, getting her to put her head to the inside of the circle, I was using a little bit of contact, as little as I could, but mostly my legs and my seat. As time went on, I was frequently changing directions because I didn't want her to get too comfortable or too consistent in one direction, so I once in a while would switch it up. I wanted her to consistently be thinking and listening to what I was asking her to do without going into kind of like an autopilot mode or thinking that she was allowed to do what she wanted. As time went on, her turning and her curving of her body as we would turn started to get so, so good. She is incredibly smart. But like I said earlier, she is incredibly slow and lazy for her first time out. I found myself to be consistently circling around my dad for some reason. And um, sorry, dad, if I made you dizzy while you were filming. As time went on, I started to put a little bit of pressure with the reins on the side of her neck that would start indicating her the basics of neck reining. Most of what I did today was basically just circles over and over and over again. As time went on, I put more and more pressure on the sides of her neck as I wanted her to turn. That way, over time, steering and neck reining are going to basically be the same thing. And if you may not know, the reason I'm teaching her to neck rein is because I'm a polo player. And yes, although in the future I do hope to eventually teach Ophelia how to jump and a whole bunch of other things, polo is the primary reason that I actually have her for. Because playing polo is actually my job. And in polo, you only can ride with one hand because in your opposite hand, you actually have a mallet. So you're hitting a ball with a mallet in one hand and steering your horse with the other hand. So I was only riding her for maybe 10 minutes because before I rode her and tacked her up, I actually did a bit of lunging work with her. And what I was basically doing was trying to get her to have some nice responsive and smooth transitions between trot and walk. Basically the entire time that I was working on Ophelia today, I was really paying attention to her ears because their ears are actually what tells you primarily what they're paying attention to. And I continued going around the arena, changing my speeds a couple times, and then finally pulling her back down to a walk nice and slow. All right, you're gonna get off soon? So what I'm basically doing now is I'm just walking around, letting her wind down, and once in a while I would stop, give her a couple pets, tell her how good she was doing, and then continue to walk on. And basically the whole reason that I do this process is to discourage her from thinking that the first time that I stop is when I'm actually going to be getting off. And I do this that way she eventually doesn't develop the thought that she can stop whenever she wants the ride to be done. She learns that we only stop when I ask her to, not because I'm getting off. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Ophelia was so good. I had a feeling that she was gonna be as good as she was just because the entire time I've had her, she's been actually very, very calm. She's always been very chill, even around kids and stuff. Like she has absolutely become a kid's favorite at the barn. She is so chill that pretty much all the kids can come in here and brush her and take care of her without a problem. So I wasn't too concerned actually getting on her that there was going to be any buck or anything, but who knows, maybe in the future, maybe she's saving all the buck and all the spice for later on. But for her first ride, she did very good. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to continue to ride her. I'm going to be working on her balance, on her turning very nicely, as well as transitions, and basically just building up a really solid foundation. And depending on how all that goes, will determine how soon I start swinging a mallet on her.
Anyways, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. Leave your thoughts of the video down in the comments below and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos. See you later. <laughs>